Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Crusader Kings 2 Muslim World Conquest. So, I was just thinking to myself, man, I made a lot of mistakes with granting territory. And this is going to be a real problem for us later on in the game. I've been creating these duchies, right? And I've been creating every single kingdom that's a creatable. And it's like, god, these, these little tiny armies down here are so useless. They take forever to actually get where we need them. That they're really not going to help us out. And then I was thinking, gosh, urgh, I hate how you can't actually transfer vassal dukes. For whatever reason, they made it so that you cannot transfer dukes to a king unless they are his du jour dukes. Meaning that the only dukes we'd be allowed to give to Sultan Isa of the Isaid Sultanate would be these duchies here. So I can't transfer like Aksum, Gondar, whatever these ones. However, then I remembered that we have this nice little bonus. Being a Muslim, we are allowed to, for whatever reason, we are allowed to revoke emirates without objections from the aristocracy. And they will almost always say yes. So, apparently, it I guess it does take, must have 100 prestige. I don't think it actually costs us prestige, does it? Well, I guess we find out. Let's just revoke one and see what happens. Nope, didn't look like it. Alright, so what we can do is we can just revoke those duchies and then grant the duchy itself to this this king and then it does go to... It's a eventually, effectively the same thing as transferring the duchy um, except that we're not making this guy the duke that's in charge. We're making this guy who's in charge. And he might very well give it to one of these guys. But what I'm going to do is, maybe not all at once, but over time we're going to set it up so we essentially have one big darn king that just goes from here all the way this way. I want him to have boats and I want him to have access to the front lines so that these armies can be raised up front. And we might even go crazy and just have like five main kings. Five main vassals. And that's it. And the reason I'd say five is that, let's say for example you only had one, well then he has 100% of your power and if for any reason he stops liking you on succession or something, then all of a sudden you have problems. If you had two, now it's 50-50. But by the time you get down to about five big vassals, 20%, if any one of them doesn't like you, they're not going to have enough power to actually make any, any real issue. So we could have like the central guy, and then we'd have like the southern guy, the western guy, the northern guy, the eastern guy, that kind of thing. We'll see. So for now though, let's just, um, let's see, do we really want to mess with that right now? Let's get some revocations going, and um, we'll go from there. Um, cannot revoke a granted... I just granted these. <laughs> Alright. I literally just granted them. Alright, so you are definitely going to fall under this one guy. These kingdoms... I'd like to merge these two kingdoms, actually. So what we should do is... I don't have a claim on any of those kingdoms, do I? Just emirates. Alright, well that'll, that'll be a good start for now. And... You know, we just, we just need to move to Venice. That's just the easiest way to do it. It just makes it so, so much easier to, mass, to, to manage vassals. For now, though, let's just go on the offensive. So, you guys are going to head to the coast. This army will actually raise up here. Still have you head to the coast. You guys head to the coast. We do need an army for the east. So let's head to there. Except this army is large enough that it can just immediately start doing some damage. We'll send it in without commanders just so we don't suffer any siege events and attrition. This was a, a rather large invasion, so we definitely want to have a, a good number of men going north. Let's rally to here, actually. So back at least one province from the front line so they don't get attacked. Now this army can raise in quite a few locations. We can also just pick up enough boats right away that we can hop them on the boats, which is pretty convenient. Let's have you guys rally to here. And let's also just raise all vassal fleets. And we'll hold on the alt key to select them now. And let's go to here. We'll pick up some more army. I want to go boat bomb this whole area because I don't want the uh, 
I don't want like too many of the Catholics getting involved, because I did notice how I declared war on Lotharingia, Italy. And even though he's currently at war with his brothers, or whatever they are, um, they might end up helping him. And it might unify Catholicism, so we don't want that. And we also want to take care of that little island. Alright, quick little check, make sure these armies are moving. You guys are not. Just head down that way. Should be pretty good. Okay, let's mobilize the forces. We're also only a, a few more months away from, bring, from being 16. We'll go on our Hajj then. Alright, let's uh, grant those duchies to you. Can't create that, but we can transfer it. So this is what's so weird about it. I just don't understand Paradox's thinking here. You can always freely transfer counts. So, Matamma. We can transfer him, but we can't transfer dukes. Explain to me. The lot. I don't get it. How is it any different? Why? I just... And there's so many easy ways to work around it, too. That's one of the things that just really just drives me crazy. Alright, so is this army coming together yet? No. Did we get those southern guys rallied north? Yeah. Certainly are taking a while, aren't they? Alright. Let me grab those guys and we'll head over to Acre. Grab up this army. We'll go boat bomb this thing first and assault it. And then after that we'll go after Italy. Of course we adopt the Marshal's ideas. Why wouldn't we? Some guy just died. Some woman. Silly woman. Playing on speed three, because this is the organization phase of the war, which is, you know, the, this deployment phase takes a long time, and then so does the um, giving away all the, the new conquests phase. That takes forever as well. Okay, unfortunately he did seem to put together a, a rather sizable army, and we have no commanders, so we're just going to retreat. It'll take a couple days of losses, but we're not going to fight five. It's just a bad idea. What are you up to? Holy War for Sana. Cool. Good. Glad to see it. Okay, so we got 12,000 men now. A couple more days, we'll get a few more. In fact, a little bit more than the boats can hold. We can hold 14,200. It's close enough. Let's go after this. Rather than take the amphibious landing penalty, even though it's 10 to 1, I think we'll just dock and then walk over. Still not going to use any commanders, though. This is my favorite part, when the armies start to get consolidated and you don't have this big, huge list of, of armies. They drive me crazy. We do actually have boats on this side, so... That's good. My nephew lacks a guardian. He's not going to be worth a pinion, so we'll just let him be educated by whoever. I don't really care. Just so long as the, the pop-up goes away. Okay, I think we are ready to move in here. If the majority of these forces arrive, we'll have 15,000 for the Saffirids, which is good. And if they take Sana, that'd be really nice. That woman looked fancy. So by time in prison and go check out these women, this is what your uh, Emira. I guess we should probably keep up on ransoms. I haven't done this in a while. There's so many people, I just don't care. Don't care about them. Oh, apparently I just tried to ransom to him. Alright. So that is now done. 
Once again, we're going to grant that to a random count. The random count thing is definitely part of the strategy still, but other than that, like, we want to have... This, this will become the Western King. So yeah, we'll just grant, transfer that vassal to him. And we'll let them worry about creating duchies most of the time, I think. Or I'll create them, but then just grant the duchies directly to the kings. That's a method of speeding things up. Alright, so you guys hop on the boats now. Let's go after Italy now. Preferably Lotharingia. We'll just go fight his army, siege down the, the war goal, and then he'll probably just surrender at that point. We're still 15. We've got six months till our birthday. We've only been playing like six months in the last couple of videos. It's, it's been kind of slow, actually. Staffords are up to 6,000. Another Myophysite uprising. Great! Where is this one located? Awesome. These silly Myophysites. Alright, we can reasonably go up to speed 4 again. Pretty much all the armies are where they belong. It doesn't feel like we have 40,000 men, but we do. They're out there. Most of them ended up going in this direction, actually. Alright, we'll just move into the capital and follow it up with another army there. It's large enough that either neither one of them should actually get engaged. I got my first kiss today. It was not quite what I had expected, but rather nice anyway. Too bad Habita bint Muhammad Aglabid blundered in on us. Okay. God, her name is hard to pronounce. Lotharingia King, you have 2,000 men. How pathetic. You call that an army? I call that a vassal. Like a vassal levy. That's that's the whole war that's the whole war goal. That's all we could take from them this point. For now. Hey, we got a patrician. Is he a patrician? No, he just looks like a fancy patrician. I don't even know why we need the money at this point. I don't really think we do. Now these armies, we need to get up there, so let's bring the boats back. And we'll just try to ferry them across the, the water here. Get them up in this general area. We also need a major, major army to go north. Like, you know, the Russians are all joining in against us. And I've really got a very small force up in that direction. So we'll do some assaults on this side, and we became a charismatic negotiator. Not the best education, but still pretty good. Could be better. First ambition we'll take is to get married, because it's an easy, tiny, tiny bit of priority. Now since we're trying for this diplomatic thing, it makes a lot of sense to go for a second high diplomacy character, because that way we get a lot of state diplomacy. But being strong, brave, kind, um, patient, I don't think we're going to have any real opinion problems. So, rather than do that, I think we'll try to find a genius. As many geniuses as possible, just so we can try to mix and get a strong genius. That would be amazing. So we'll go with her. She'll become the first wife. First of many. Her stats aren't terrible either. She's rather hideous. That's not a very pretty woman. Alright, so let's take the ambition to improve learning next. We have plenty of prestige. We need to go on a uh, on a Hajj to Mecca, but we're we've got a few wars <laughs> right now. Uh, again, we're not going to embrace either school. I still don't understand why we can repay the loan, but we can't um, kick out the Jews. It doesn't make sense to me. Temple vassal opinion. Do my vassals actually care about it? Really? 
Mayors, Wallis. I don't even think I have characters that could care about it. I'm the head of the damn religion. I don't, it's just not even possible. So there's really no major penalty to it, but... Alright, let's grab these guys. Let's send these guys north, actually. I think we need them more to the north than anywhere else. Ruthenia is 6,000 or so strong, plus their allies, so maybe 7 or 8. Not, not a big deal, but... Alright, so we've got our primary wife. Let's see if we can find some some other genius wives as well. This time we'll just actually use the, the character finder. I think it's a little bit quicker for, for this type of thing. So, women who are not in prison, who are not married, who are not currently a ruler. Yes, culture. Yes, religion. Yes, adults. Any great house. And my culture doesn't have to be the same, but my religion does. Otherwise, they won't accept the marriage. We want to find geniuses. Um, yeah, I think we just marry as many of them as we can. That'll give us two geniuses to breed with. No. Let's get those two out of the way first. There's one and two. And let's also go with um, attractive. I, I wouldn't mind having a strong attractive character either. It's not necessary really, because attractive doesn't really help you with your vassals. Because especially as a Muslim, they're all going to be male. But it's not a bad thing. And actually, if we can't find another... No, I'm, no, no, never mind. We'll go with quick. And let's just sort by... Youth, I guess. Anyone who's quick... I guess we'll even use it more. Quick, lustful... Too... Yeah, it's not going to happen. They're, they're too old. Okay, how about quick and Midas touched? Nope. How about quick and gray eminence? Yeah, 43, too old. Quick and charismatic. 49, 42. Damn. See, this is why you need an age filter. Just be a lot easier that way. Fortune. 24 year old fortune builder. Alright, there we go. There's a little bit of fertility. That'll work. Okay, so we got our th four wives now. Already at 95% against this guy, but he doesn't want to surrender for some reason. You are going to be underneath my king to the west, so we'll create the Duchy of Rashka and then grant it to the king to the west. By doing this, it'll also pretty much... Um, did I not grant sub-vessels within? No, I didn't. Shoot. I misclicked. Transfer... Hum. Rashka and Hum. I feel like they should just be like right at the top of the list. Why aren't they available? I don't get it. Fine, take the stupid court courtier. I don't care about her. Oh yeah, totally love her. Sure, whatever you say. <laughs> oh, they're mine, my own direct holdings. Gosh, I'm so silly. Ah, oh, that's right. I missed a step. I forgot all about this part. Shoot, 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 shoot. Search realm for men who are not in prison. Any marriage, not a ruler. Yes, 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 and no. Stewardship. It's this heat. It's like 80 degrees in here again in 10 minutes. It's just insane. I tried playing without the... Um, you know, I tried like recording with, with the... The AC unit on, and it's just so loud. I cannot play with it on. I can't do that to you guys. I'd be miserable. So I'm left just suffering this brain disaster. Hey, 10,000 men. I 
I guess we should take him seriously. Already have one pregnant wife, good. Okay, well, I am going to take a break here so I can let the AC run because I'm going to die soon. So, thank you so much for watching, everyone. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I'll see you again soon.